Hello YouTube. I'm gonna tell you a story. It's full of riddles and uh, mysteries and no one has been able to explain it yet. And it happened in 2008, not that long ago. Uh, Russian miners working at a coal mine located near the Russian city of Donetsk, Rostov region, found something strange. It was an amazing discovery of the wheel imprint made in the sandstones of the Zapadnaya mine in Donetsk at a depth of 900 meters from the surface during the sinking of the J3 Suhadolsky caulking coal formation. And like I said, it happened in 2008. And it's, it's a small Russian town. It's not Donetsk in Ukraine. It's a similar name, but in the Rostov region or oblast on the Seversky Donetsk River on the border with Ukraine. So it was an object that looked suspiciously like a wheel. It was rather not even an object at all, but its imprint. The workers were very surprised by such a find. After all, it happened at the depth of about 900 meters. So they decided to bring this artifact to the surface. However, due to the properties of the material in which they found it, it could not be cut with the tools that the miners had at their disposal. But fortunately, the miners turned out to be smart guys and they decided to take photographs. Now, fortunately also cameras are now available in every mobile telephone. So photos of the unusual print were taken to the deputy head of the site um, by the last name of Kruzilin. And they were handed over to the foreman, Kasatkin, who informed the mine management about the find. Unfortunately, there is currently no way to further investigate this intriguing area and inspect the sprint. And of the proofs of the authenticity of the find, there are only photographs and certificates of miners. So what is the age of this find? It is very difficult to accurately date the layers in which the fossilized wheel imprint was found. However, it is believed that at the depth of 900 meters, the rocks of the Donetsk coal basin are about <clears throat> from 300 to 360 million years old. This means that some ancient wheel got stuck in the rock millions of years ago and eventually dissolved as a result of a process called diagenesis. This happens when sediments are replaced by sedimentary rocks, as is usually the case with fossils. Now, I'm going to read you excerpts from the Kasatkin's letter that confirming that he witnessed an abnormal wheel imprint discovered by the team of miners in 2008. So here, here it goes. The find is amazing. Immediately after its discovery in 2008, we, a team of engineers and workers, asked the mine management to involve scientists for a detailed analysis of the found object. However, the boss, probably following the orders of the mine owner, forbade any conversations on this topic and ordered to increase the pace of work on the passage of this section of the mine. For this reason, the discovered artifact, as well as another, smaller one, which was found during further work, ended up in a blocked tunnel, and they were no longer available. However, uh, there were citizens who, contrary to the prohibition of the authorities, managed to photograph this object. Currently, the mine is closed, officially since 2009, and access to the object is impossible. The equipment has been dismantled. The necessary layers have been flooded. Here's a little bit more from his letter. I'll tell you about the background of the find. At that time, I was working as a mining foreman uh, of the ventilation and safety engineering site. According to the profile of seismic forecasting, uh, forecasting hazardous emissions of coal and gas, the mine was listed in the category of super large, dangerous for sudden emissions of coal and gas. I am not a novice 
in the coal industry and I perfectly understand the responsibility of my words. This finding is not PR. At one time, 2008, we, the IT staff and workers, asked the director of the mine to invite scientists to study the object in detail, but the director, following the instructions of the then owner of the mine, forbade such statements, only ordered to speed up the work on the passage of the lava section and the rapid charging of the section with mining equipment. As a result, this artifact and another smaller imprint found due, during further penetration ended up in the blockage and could no longer be subject to <clears throat> recovery and study. It's good that there were people who, contrary to the director's ban, photographed this, uh, photographed this artifact. I have a connection with those who first discovered these imprints and with those who photographed them. There are dozens of witnesses. The only thing that the director of the mine approved to do was to allow a group of eight to ten people from some sect to the subject. As you understand, access to the mine is strictly limited, dangerous due to sudden emissions, and it is very difficult to obtain this permit. You need to pass the appropriate instructions, etc. I will add that coking coal was mined at the mine, accompanied by mud stones and stone sandstone. The wheel was imprinted on the sandstone of the roof. The guys, tunnelers, tried to chip the find with bumpers and take it to the mountain, but the sandstone was so strong that being afraid to damage the imprint, they left it in place. These written statements and the testimony of other witnesses, as well as the photographs taken, remain the only evidence of the existence of the anomalous imprint. Yes, that's not enough. Now, about the coal king coal layer J3 Suhadorsky, all the sections um, sent to them were a little, a little logical and say nothing about the age of the rocks. This is a very common phenomenon in the extraction of coal and other minerals. Developers care about the breeds themselves, not their age. Nevertheless, the age of the sandstones containing the find can be indirectly judged by the fact that the Donetsk Rostov region is located in the field of carboniferous rocks uh, from 300 million to 363 million years old, most likely of the middle carboniferous and the coking coals widespread here. It was during their extraction that the find was made. Um, also they have a carboniferous age, mainly middle and late carboniferous. This means that the wheel got into the rocks more than 300 million years ago and later imprinted in the sole of the layer of sandstones overlapping it. The wheel itself dissolved during the diagenesis, as often happens with fossils. However, this artifact should be considered worthy of mention, despite any difficulties with checking details other than those that you have read about, for if the photographic evidence is really authentic, shouldn't we ask ourselves how did the artificial wheel end up in such ancient geological layers in general? After all, according to official science, there was no man on earth then, probably not even in the planning stages. Listen, maybe it's an imprint of some ancient jellyfish. No, of course it's nonsense. To the sources that I used for this story, it's obvious that the authorities are hiding this ancient wheel, meaning that those at the top know something about it and limited access. I cannot say that. I don't know enough. I'll look for more evidence to the extent of, of my abilities. But I'll tell you that just like those cauldrons in Yakutia, and I urge you to see my uh, video titled ancient aliens of Yakutia, 
you can find it in the playlists. Those cauldrons were flooded um, and are underwater now, and we knew where they were. More or less, I mean, to, to not to the very exact place, but within a this, you know, I would say um, distance of what five kilometers, even less. But they're flooded, and remnants of ancient civilization, or proof that extraterrestrials on an Earth, it's down there in the soil of Yakutia, but it's under under tons of water right now. It's very sad, just like this wheel. Is it being done on purpose or just carelessness and greed and apathy? You decide. But I'll bring you more interesting stories from Eurasia about ancient artifacts. If you can support my channel, please do so. You'll find the links in the description to this video. If you can, please subscribe to my channel. I understand you have to put likes to help me <laughs> have this channel in existence and uh, please tell others uh, I, I like the stuff I'm telling you about I like my research I've been doing it for many years and um, I've been doing field research as well when I could from Africa to Mexico and in my youth in the Soviet Union a few other places too and um, I've, I've have accumulated a lot of knowledge and sometimes you can see me in different uh, TV uh, programs uh, discussing such subjects. But um, I love to do my YouTube uh, channel, so I count on your support. Thank you so much.